Okay, on the way, welcome to this player go test for Tinglet Ferran Torres. The 21-year-old right winger says an 82 overall, has an exciting prospect status on him from the start. Six foot, right footed, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, high medium work rates. Obviously, just made that big move to Barcelona. See how he fits in. I mean, they've clearly have had kind of an issue on the right wing, seeing the fact they've had to play Serginho Dest or right back at that spot. So hopefully he helps um, kind of spark a change in the club. Uh, it's kind of it's just kind of weird seeing Barca not being at their usual heights, but um, I think it can make things interesting for sure. Obviously, physically from the start, he's got pretty solid. I mean, decent pace. Uh, Jody, not too bad at the 82. Uh, mentally pretty solid. Technically, 82 ball control, 84 dribbling, 81 finishing, 77 crossing, 71 curve, 75 heading accuracy, 78 long pass, 76 long shots, 80 short pass, 89 shot power, 74 volleys, so pretty solid physically, mentally, and technically. Obviously, he's 82 overall player. And most of you guys know with dynamic potential that he's going to end up getting some pretty big boost because... It's way too overpowered, and I certainly gonna make like a, a wish list video for FIFA 23. I think is the plan to make soon. That's certainly gonna be on the list of things I need to change for for FIFA 23 because there's just no not as many elite players as the game makes it out to be. There's way too many 99 overalls and way too many players above 90 in general. Um, when you go into save and control a team yourself, I mean, there's just not realistic whatsoever. But 85 overall, age 22, obviously gonna grow pretty steadily, and there's already you know getting close to the 90s already up to 88 overall age 23 uh certainly helps with dynamic potential playing the lower leagues but even if you're playing in a higher league and he has a decent goal and assist output it's still you're still going to see dynamic potential come into effect because that's just how overpowered it can be it's i think my issue is it's way too overpowered with players who already have a high potential um I, I love it for lower potential players and the fact that you can have a player who isn't expected to be a star and turn them into a star i think that's great for road to glory career modes and stuff like that but for um players already high potential diamond potential is way too overpowered um, as you can see 94 overall age 25 um very quick growth obviously um and yeah physically mentally technically he's already filled out so much and certainly expect to see him hitting the 99 if not getting close he actually did kind of stagnate a bit more in his growth 95 overall age 26 10 goals and 12 assists uh at this point and physically mentally obviously he's amazing now pace just the balance dev plan is pretty ridiculous once Diamond Pinocher comes into effect. Because it pretty much can play like every position almost after that. If Especially if they're like a 70, upper 60 overall player. They end up being like so well-rounded that it's almost ridiculous. They're like a machine. They're like a robot now. But age 27, now 96 overall. Filling out really well. Again, physically, mentally, and technically. 97 overall, age 29. Uh, so he's actually, in these later years, he's stagnated with his growth after growing so much earlier on. Which is actually nice to see. It kind of makes sense. A lot of players peak earlier. They have kind of valleys and peaks. I do think that's one thing that FIFA does a better job with. Um, but still, Diamond Potential 2 OP ends up being a 98 overall. Age 32 is what he caps out at. Uh, good season there. 10 goals, 6 assists, some goals in Champions League and, and whatnot. Good form. 6 foot, right footed, 169 pounds. Nice. 4 Four, four star skill moves, four star weak foot, high medium work rates, and we'll see those final physical, mental, and technical attributes. So I know I've posted a lot this weekend, well, well like three compared to usual, like four videos in a couple of days. <laughs> wow! And I think that's consistency that you'll be seeing back on the channel now. Um, that's something I want to sh I want to make happen because I hate not being consistent. It's not fun. It's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, Good attributes he ends it with obviously 98 overall, 98 acceleration, agility, 91 balance, 93 jumping, 97 reaction, sprint speed, 93 stamina, 90 strength, 78 aggression, 90 attack position, 97 composure, 72 interceptions, and 98 vision. So I'm just going to make my booty clap real quick because I know not most people don't watch all the videos. So if you heard the booty clap, put a comment in the section below. So I'm going to make my booty clap real quick. I right, just uh, wanted to make the booty clap real quick for anyone who uh, has watched this so far. Um, if you got to this point, hashtag booty clap. Technically, a 98, 98 ball control and crossing, 91 curve, 72 defensive awareness, 98 dribbling, 86 free kick accuracy, 98 five finishing, 90 heading accuracy, 96 long pass, 98 long shots, 90 penalties, 98 short pass, 91 shot power, 68 slide tackle, 66 stand tackle, and 93 volleys. So a wonderful player he turns into because this game is too overpowered with some of its mechanics. But that's, thank you all for tuning in. Um, I love you guys. I hope you all have a great year. Happy New Year to everyone. Hit that like button. 
if you want to be a channel member <laughs> and support a poor Mexican family to buy some tortillas, um, please do so. I love you. Goodbye.